It's actually super easy to use MIDI in FL Studio. The first step is, yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use MIDI files in FL Studio. It's super easy, super straightforward, so this isn't gonna take long. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button and check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed. Now, let's get into this. But before we do that, question of the day is, where do you buy your MIDI files or where do you get them from? Or what kind of MIDI files are you currently using? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think that'd be very, very interesting. But this is very, very simple, very, very straightforward. For this, we're gonna use my MIDI file package, which I recently released. If you wanna grab this, go to jcartaray.com forward slash MIDI packs, okay? So all you need to do is grab one of your MIDIs. I'm gonna go into my chord progressions because we've got loads of those in here. And then you need to have your channel rack open. You can't just drag this into the pattern. So make sure you've got your channel rack open. The channel rack is right here. So if that's not up, click that. Then drag in your melody into an instrument, preferably. This is FL Keys. Now, generally I would bring up a bare instrument, but when I'm starting my beats, I always start everything in FL Keys. So this is what this sounds like in the pattern. And as soon as you drag it in, all the MIDI data will be laid out as it was in the MIDI file. And if you want to change it, you can always just drag another MIDI file on it. It's super easy like this, like this. And we can drag MIDI files in here all day, but that's basically all you need to know. You can also, you know, copy and paste between your MIDI files. When you add a new instrument, you can just paste it somewhere else. Okay. So that's how you use MIDI files in FL Studio. Very, very quick video. I told you, remember, if you want to grab my MIDI pack with over a hundred MIDI files in there and a bunch of chord progressions, I think we've got like yeah, 135 chord progressions. We've got over a hundred hi-hat MIDI files and so on and so forth. You'll find all the information when you go to jcartaray.com forward slash MIDI packs. You can grab my Trap Melody Cheat Package link down below, okay? You can also find a bunch of other helpful links down below, so definitely go and check that out. Now, if you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below. In the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.